Hello, everyone. Hello. Is there someone in the class? Okay. Let me start. So today I would be I would be talking. I hope you can see my screen. Yes. I hope you can see my screen. So today I'll be talking about both the things that were the lesson that I had sent before and what I would be sending today. So the lesson that I sent before that was about this group discussion. So group discussion in the group discussion one I had uh, given 10 basic tips of group discussions and the first among them is rich content with good subject knowledge. Now, when I have been discussing this in class, I have always told you that there may be time when you have very little knowledge or more importantly, very little ideas coming to you at that time when you are talking. Sorry, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute, please, guys. By some chance, I had a malware attack, so I had to stop it before anything else could be corrupted. So, as I was saying that when uh, we were talking in class, we said that you would have a topic where you would not be very aware of the content. Doesn't matter try to think about the similar situations and whatever little information you have been gathering online. Focus yourself not on what you are going to say, how you are going to say, when you are going to say it, and rather focus on the topic that has been given to you. Most of the cases what happens is you try to focus on the wrong thing. You to try to focus on whether I would be able to talk whether I would be uh, saying enough, whether I would be uh, able to stop a fight if that ensures, or whether I would be just speaking too fast and like, have nothing to say, a group would have nothing to say later on. Uh, the group would get disqualified and ma'am had been saying. So don't think about these things. We always, not only just you, we, human being are always in the habit of thinking of the wrong things and being afraid of the wrong things. Let us not be afraid of anything. I have been given a topic. Let me focus on that topic and let me say as much as I know about the topic. 
when i start talking then i will start thinking about what i can do to uh, show that i am i have enough to speak about the topic and yet not take more than uh, one and a half minutes or so so first focus on the topic once you have written down the topic as we have all said once you have written down the topic and maybe if you are not clear you have asked a question and you have got yourself clarified maybe you write down the point of clarification and then start thinking about the topic as much as you can once if you are the initial speaker you make two or three points and then you pass on the baton you pass on it pass it on to the next guy when everyone starts speaking you may remember more points just note them down and when a few people have spoken or one round has completed completed of being speaking of being spoken start talking about all the points that you think you would like to talk on most importantly the main important points as a result what will happen this first point of dues of having a rich content that they uh, say here that is something that you will be having that is something that you don't have to think about next point is when we are uh, in a group discussion the first important thing that is watched is if you have leadership qualities so what are the things that a leader has to do is given here just follow them it says that uh, if you are a very good leader gather your thoughts together quickly and start so a good leader is someone who begins at the beginning that is one uh, point not necessarily all of you have to do that but some of you may feel comfortable speaking in the beginning so do it go ahead and do it then uh if you are not being the first one to speak follow him but refer to the previous speaker so that it shows your little leadership qualities you know that your previous speaker has said something you've heard it you've accumulated it you find it very interesting and you would like to pass it on to your crew so a good leader takes up a, a point of view that he or she has heard may not have original ideas may not have original points but takes it up and passes it on with the addition of his opinion or an example or a anecdote or a i mean story added to support that idea and pass it on so that is also a good leader and likewise you'll find there are few points given how to become a good leader next thing this is some one point that every interviewer can complains about when they come to our college especially that our students are speaking to some extent but they are missing the point of relevancy they are talking in a tangent not actually talking about the topic but rather doing something at a tangent like uh, if you have heard about this joke in your school life that you have been asked to write a essay on the river but at home you have studied an essay on the cow so you do something you make Uh, you start with a river you say one sentence and you say that a cow comes at the banks of the river and has water and then you start talking about the cow because that is the essay that you have studied so <coughs> that is something which something similar that is being complained that most of our candidates they start talking about a thing but they then deduct it and take it to a place where they are comfortable about it. they are not talking about what actually needs to be said either because they don't have enough data about it 
or because they are not very sure what to say. Instead of doing that, take one idea or one sentence and add anecdotes, add stories, add examples. That makes it more authentic, more relevant than going on a tangent. Next thing, once you have speak, spoken, what we all do is we then think about what next, what should I say next, what should I do next so, so that I can show my leadership qualities, be a good uh, uh, group discussion expert and prove my point. Instead of thinking of all these things and actually getting more jumbled, more nervous, more missing the point, rather, once you have spoken, calm down and listen to what everyone is saying. Carefully listen to every word that is being spoken. You can then jot your points. Suppose speaker number um, speaker number 10 has been going on a tangent. Speaker number 11 has, has given some wrong data that you know about. Uh, speaker number 14 has said something that you really agree with. And uh, like that, if you prove yourself to be a very good listener, you prove yourself to be a very good corporate worker. The best ideas, I think I have uh, discussed with you interpersonal skills and the most important, um, I mean, quality of a corporate worker, of a per person who works in an organization, is someone who is a good listener, who understands and empathizes with the listener, understands his situation, understands his condition, and then gives a solution which is actually really effective because he has been listening. So that is a very great quality. Doesn't matter if you do not have any leadership quality, but if you are a good listener, you can prove that you are a good listener by saying that you have heard such person say this, such person say this, you agree with this, you extremely do not agree with some someone. And like there's just two or three, just pointing out two or three, not more than that, uh, speakers, and then saying that um, this is why you don't agree with them or why you do agree with them and add something of your own makes you a very good corporate worker and you may be considered even above the person who has proved himself to be a very good leader. So that is one skill that we need to remember. Next, the fifth point is being a good, having good communication skills. Now, good communication skills are something which I have always been telling you that you need to develop. You need to practice and develop. I'll give you just a few points. The first thing that you need to do is do not think about grammar. Do not think about con sentence construction. Just take a topic and start speaking on it. Before you start speaking, you'll have difficulty starting speaking every, it immediately. But I hope at your age and your experience, you won't have that much of difficulty. In spite of that, if you have a difficulty, take your pen and paper, take a topic and write down five sentences, not more than that. Five different points about, even you don't need to write complete sentences, just write down five points about that topic. Then close your copy. Close, uh, I mean, fold your paper, fold the piece of paper or close your copy and then think about the topic points that you have written and talk. At the, at the beginning, you would talk for a minute and then you would have nothing to say. Practice it, take a different topic next day or maybe uh, within two hours, take another topic. You can practice twice a day, but practice at least once a day. Once a day, take a topic, write a few points and talk about it. First for one minute, then for two, three minutes. Try talking for five minutes at a stretch about a topic, whatever the topic is. And don't do much research about the topic before you start talking about it. Just go online, 
read a few uh, read a few things maybe if you have no idea about it and then start talking about it or if you want you can also do some research but once you start once you decide talking close down everything on your phone take pen and paper and write out a few points and then start talking initially just talk do not record yourself after after you reach an efficiency of talking on a topic for 3 minutes you may start doing some verbal recording i mean voice recording don't go for video recording once you have done some voice recording take some time in the day not immediately later on at least 2 3 hours later take some time in the day and start listening to yourself not the words you have to, uh, spoken not the content nothing just count the words that you have been speaking and if you think you have spoken for 3 minutes count the number of words you have sp uh, spoken and make an average and see how many words you are speaking in a minute try to improve your speed to about 250 words a minute non native speakers that is speakers of india who have not been born in an english speaking con uh, country or uh, have the mother tongue as english should have a speed of 250 words per minute so i should be in a position to speak 250 words per speak minute pick up pick up your speed and get that speed limit talk for 5 minutes with a speed limit uh, with an average of 250 words per, per minute on any topic on earth once you have achieved that then try to record yourself and check the sentences that you are saying whether they are grammatically correct whether they have they have the sentence structure which is correct by sentence structure i mean you have not put preposition first and then the article and stuff like that just if necessary you can i mean show it share it with me i can give you feedback i can even train you to correct your grammar and your sentence construction once you have corrected your grammar and sentence construction next comes the time when you would be checking out to see if you have been repeating yourself without and become very boring and monotonous so what we tend to do is to cover up this 5 minutes we often repeat few sentences instead of just repeating it simply let us add a bit of story or an example to that particular sentence so if i repeat i repeat it with a story if i repeat i repeat it with an example if i repeat i repeat it with uh, i mean something which is more attractive not just repeating it for repeating sake it makes it very boring so let us repeat the sent i mean let us record ourselves and see if we have used in a variety and it is more or less attractive if not if if you want you can add some new vocabularies here you can just decide that such a this is a word which i don't feel comfortable on so just go ahead and find some alternative online and change the word with it learn that word change the word that that type of word with it. once you have improved a little bit of vocabulary and here let me tell you don't go into lots of vocabulary simple words simply spoken makes more impact rather than difficult words and so you have your grammar and your speed and your vocabulary more or less above average now is the time to make some video recording in this video recordings you would be checking out what i mean don't sit down and record yourself at least try to record a little bit if possible the entire uh, posture if not just the uh, just up to your um, i mean waist level where you would 
watch your hand movements, watch your, watch your body movements, watch your eye movements, and always try to look at the eye of the camera and don't. If you can comfortably talk by looking at the eye of the camera, you can comfortably talk by looking at any person's eye for a long time and talking. So get in the habit of talking by looking at the eyes. Once you have also mastered a little bit of your body language, you'll see that you have become quite an efficient, come, uh, efficient speaker and you have developed your communication skills in spite of the fact that you were not a very good speaker, say, three months before. This type of practice at least take three months. But if you can do it for a three, three months at a stretch without fail every single day, I can guarantee you that you will become an efficient speaker. After that, communication skills also includes body gestures. So that is a point I've already covered. Now they move on to the don'ts. The most important thing I have been always telling you is that do not be aggressive. Do not try to emphasize your points by being body aggression, by moving your hands in front of other people or being up close and personal. And that those are certain things um, which is not very comfortable. Don't try to contradict yourself. If you are supporting a particular idea, go on supporting it even after you feel that the opposite party is giving some valid points. Still try to keep your point of view. Don't use both of them. If you find that in your group discussion, two or three people have started speaking more than one word, yes, I agree, or just a head shake is, I mean, very common. But more than that, it is your duty to stop it. And that proves a very, I mean, high leadership skills to go ahead and stop your uh, group from becoming a fish market. Um, last point, but not the least that he, they have given here is that try at least voicing your ideas more than once. If you have a lot of things to say, break it down into two or three parts. If you have very little uh, thing to say, just take another opportunity, take your point of view and add an example, add a story to it. So give your opinion at least two or three times. A person who repeats himself or herself hammers the point um, down more effectively. So that is something which you can do to nail a group discussion. Rest of the things will make you move ahead of everyone, but multiple entries, multiple times talking about, an, about a particular topic makes your, I mean, makes your appearance much more happening and you really win it if you do that. Next is, um, there are again some tips here. And then there is this a little bit other examples that are given. Today I would be sending you some here we have something and I don't know what that is. Next uh, uh, lesson that I am sending you is tell me about yourself. So what you have to do is you have to um, check out 
why an interviewer asked these questions. A uh, some simple formula of, uh, I mean, this type of answers, and really big tips that will help you nail this type of answers. So go ahead, read it. I've also attached a video, a YouTube video. There are even some app sample answers given for you. So just go ahead and read every part of it. Then watch the video, which is made by an AI. Yeah, I mean, a young Indian girl, similar to your age, and the experiences where she shares the experiences that she had. And then go ahead and do the assignment and submit it to me in the stipulated date and time that I have given you. Remember to do it within the time. Don't exceed the time limit and remember both the assignments, the previous one and this one, they have 20 marks each and I will be marking you for these assignments. If you have any more questions, just email me and I will try to cover these questions in the next session of our doubt clearing. And I would also like to add here that um, unless the uh, college reop reopens after the 14th, 15th, when we have our uh, lockdown lifted, unless that happens, I'll be taking your doubt clearing session or your explanation session classes on Zoom, 11 o'clock every Tuesday, okay? So, bye.